that's actually leads into a good point. Like maybe on like the suction dredges and the mechanical dredges, are those the two lines that are really specific to the construction market um, in, in the USA? Yes. The, the predominant dredge is a suction dredge. That's okay. the one, and when you say dredge, that's the one that most people are familiar with. It's yep. a suction dredge and there's variations on them. Uh, the mechanical dredges are the bucket ladder dredges and the clamshell dredges. Those those have a bit more of a unique application. Okay. Uh, we're the only one in the States right now that can provide all of those dredges. Maybe if you can break, so like the suction dredge, maybe just for people watching and for myself, for watching the first time, what are, like, what are, what are some ways that people use these, um, what are they used for and how are they specialized and those different, like those different lines that you said, I think you mentioned clamshell and the other one was bucket ladders, bucket ladders. Yeah. So maybe like if you can give like a breakdown of those three. Yeah. So there's a, there's a couple of key metrics that you're looking for when I go onto a site and, yeah. and the beauty of us is I can go onto the site with sort of a blank slate because I don't okay. have a preference of what machine I can supply. Oh, I see. And so you ask questions about, okay, how much gravel is in the deposit? How deep are you trying to dig? How far are you trying to carry the material? How big is the gravel in it? Mm. Um, if you have a site that has a lot of rock, yeah. uh, then bucket ladders and clamshell machines start to make sense. If you have a site that has Volkswagens at the bottom of the lake, it's almost got to be a clamshell dredge. Because so they've got clam- buckets. Oh, so you're actually literally pulling those out. Yeah, clamshell dredge is much what it talks about. It's just a big gravel yep. that goes down yep. and picks up your material. Got and it. So you can handle some rather large pieces of, of aggregate. Right. Uh, if you've got a particularly sandy deposit, not a lot of gravel, and most of your gravel is smaller than 12 inches, then you start talking about the suction dredges. Okay. Which is just pumps. You're just sucking it up like a vacuum cleaner. And then once it's coming up, then then does it, when it gets... When it gets brought up to the surface, is it, there a screening process then, or does it get over to land? Is that where the screening happens? It, it depends on the machine. The okay. mechanical machines, because you're basically bringing the material up somewhat dry in buckets, yeah. you process it a little bit on the machine, and then you generally convey it to shore. I see. Okay. Uh, on the suction dredges, you're picking up water, sand, rock, the whole nine yards, and you pump it oh, to a processing okay. facility of some sort on shore. So who are your, who would you say your main clients are? Where, where are the, where are the surface areas in, in the States for this? And do you go abroad as well? Are you going into Canada? Is that a market? We, we go into Canada a little bit. Okay. We've got one customer in Latin America. Oh, nice. Um, we've got a couple of leads in Latin America that, that hopefully will become customers soon. Okay. <laughs> uh, and then we're all over the U.S. Okay. Um, the geology in the U.S. is pretty interesting. Uh, there's a band that runs sort of Northern Tennessee, Northern Missouri, uh, from that line north, uh, yeah. you see a lot of mechanical machines because it's old glacial deposits, so you get a lot of big rock. Okay. And and geology tends to determine which machine you're after. And then south of those lines, you see more of the suction machines. But we've got customers in Florida, Texas, Ohio, uh, Washington, California. I mean, we, we cover from coast to coast, New Jersey. 